Good morning and welcome to your Wallops weather briefing. Well, we had a few storms in the northern portion of the Delmarva Peninsula last night, but none of that activity really making it down towards the Wallops region. We're going to see another slight chance of some showers and thunderstorms this evening, and then some drier and cooler conditions expected for your Labor Day weekend. Looking at our current surface analysis, you can see that frontal boundary off to the north and west, that's what's going to be moving through the area later this evening, providing us with the cooler conditions for the weekend. Uh, we are going to see some showers and thunderstorms focused across that frontal boundary as it moves south and east across the mid-Atlantic region later this evening, likely after about 8 p.m. when we'll see that front cross the area. But we will see uh, those showers pretty isolated in nature and most likely see them dying a bit as they move towards the south and east as well. Looking at our uh, upper level wind data from this morning's balloon release, those winds generally have a northwest direction at the low levels of the atmosphere, becoming more westerly in direction as we get up to around 25,000 feet. We see those winds increasing up to 40 knots. The freezing level from this morning's sounding was at 15,400 feet. I want to take a look here at our radar, and uh, as you can see, really nothing to be concerned with currently. Uh, no precipitation in the uh, local area, and we are expecting dry conditions to continue uh, throughout the entire day today with the chances of the uh, shower and thunderstorm activity not making their way into the region until after 8 p.m. this evening. Quick look at the infrared satellite. You can see uh, not much in the way of cloudiness. We do have a little bit of low-level and mid-level cloudiness out there currently, but mostly sunny skies out there this morning, and we are going to continue to see mostly sunny conditions uh, throughout the remainder of the day today. Looking at our high-resolution short-term uh, model here with the HER, uh, looking at the uh, showers and thunderstorms, again, staying out of the area uh, throughout the remainder of the day. You can see here at 4 o'clock, nothing really close to our region, but just some uh, showers beginning to move into the D.C. area by 4 to 5 o'clock this afternoon. And then that line of storm starts to make its way towards the peninsula, crossing the Chesapeake Bay around 7 or 8 o'clock. And then as you can see, those showers kind of dying out as they uh, move south and east across the peninsula, much like what they did last night uh, with most of the uh, stronger storms staying well to the north of the Wallops region. But we will see a, a slight chance of a scattered shower or thunderstorm somewhere between the hours of 8 p.m. and midnight tonight. As we go into the overnight hours and into the early morning hours of Saturday, we'll see that front dropping south and east. Skies becoming mostly clear by tomorrow morning, and we're going to see mostly sunny conditions uh, for your Saturday with absolutely beautiful conditions setting up for us uh, for Saturday and Sunday as we see uh, a drier and cooler air mass work its way into the area. Looking at the European model, kind of going out a little farther uh, through time here, you can see uh, by Friday evening, again, picking up on the possibility of some of those showers and thunderstorms, but most of that activity well to our north. As we go through the day on Saturday, you can see really nothing to be concerned with here in the Wallops region as high pressure controls our weather. Same thing for Sunday, looking at the uh, conditions to remain uh, very pleasant throughout the day on Sunday with those low humidity values and mostly sunny conditions. As we get into the day on Monday, we're going to see a little bit more cloud coverage uh, start to work its way into the uh, mid-Atlantic region. You can see a little bit of a uh, coastal trough uh, developing uh, with a little bit of shower activity potentially off the uh, coast trying to work its way into the uh, inland areas. But it does look like, for the most part, we're going to stay dry for Monday. Just a slight chance of a uh, light rain shower or two under partly sunny skies. And then as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll see those chances of showers increasing each day as we go into the midweek period, with Wednesday and Thursday having slightly higher chances of seeing some of those showers uh, developing along the coastal regions of the mid-Atlantic and moving inland, uh, providing us with uh, a few widely scattered rain showers for the middle of next week. So as we look here for the next 24 hours, again, a really only hazard that we are uh, anticipating are the uh, chances of a uh, shower or thunderstorm throughout the area, only going with about a 20% chance here at Wallops between the hours of 8 p.m. tonight and midnight. We're going to see uh, pretty warm conditions out there today with uh, temperatures in the upper 80s. Could get up to around 89 degrees for a daytime high, but we are expecting those uh, 
humidity values to be just slightly lower than what we saw yesterday with the northwest flow and uh, likely seeing those heat index values staying under 100 degrees throughout the remainder of the day. Now, as we wake up tomorrow morning, it will be a noticeable change in our uh, temperatures as we'll see uh, drier air uh, working its way into the area, less humidity in store for us on Saturday. And as you can see here on our seven day forecast, very pleasant conditions for your Labor Day weekend. After we get through today, we'll see a nice drop in the humidity, 80 degrees, the expected high temperature for both Saturday and Sunday and uh, even a little bit of a uh, fall-like temperature expected for Saturday night into Sunday morning with that overnight low temperature of 62 degrees. Working your way into the beginning of next week, we'll see an increase in cloud coverage by Monday, a 10% chance of seeing a uh, light rain shower or two, especially across the uh, coastal sections of the Delmarva. But looking like a dry weekend for us, and even into Monday, seeing conditions uh, remaining dry with only that 10% chance of precipitation. As we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we'll see increasing chances of seeing some of those scattered showers uh, affecting the Wilds region. At this point, not looking at a, a very high probability of thunderstorm activity for Wednesday and Thursday with just uh, some light rain activity possible for the middle of next week. And as you can see, after today, those temperatures temperatures will be uh, fairly comfortable even through the middle of next week as your humidity uh, begins to rise a bit, temperatures still uh, staying in the uh, low to mid 80s for daytime highs. Well, that'll wrap it up for today's weather briefing. We'll be back again Tuesday with a look at your uh, short-term and extended forecast, those briefings at 8.15 and at 10 a.m. Hope everybody has a nice Labor Day weekend. Have a good day.